Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Transformers Beast Wars Vintage Reissue Optimus Primal. I'm going to do this review a bit differently from how I've done most of my reviews. I'm going to start off in the Beast mode and not, and not start off in the Robot mode because it was packaged this way. And I usually prefer it when reviewers start off in the mode when it's packaged and I'm going to do that myself this time too but first I'm going to get this out of the way then we're going to get this notice the accessories nicely in this po nice poly bag which is pretty cool I wish Hasbro did this more often and instead of using that tissue bag tissue paper stuff and then here's the box uh, nicely uh, nice reproduction of the original box. It's I got this for Ross at thirteen dollars. This was a also a Walmart exclusive two years ago, and and believe it or not, the copies I found at Ross, the boxes were in better shape than the ones I found at Walmart for some reason. And then you have the actual figure here hold on let me take a look at one accessories one more time see if there's anything here that should be on him uh no i think we should just go, proceed straight into the robot road i may notice the um, chest it's a bit body here with the paint however it is for the most part Alright, still good. Keep in mind that this is a reproduction of the original figure, so it's not going to have the... It's not going to look as accurate as the 10th anniversary one, let alone the Optus Primal figures we have. Now, uh, you're seeing the face. It's a bit... bent up it's because it's usually be meant to be in a leaning forward pose then you get the it's got the sculpted fur which is nice because he didn't look hairy in the show so it's so kind of like how it's still made of this hard plastic now to get him transformed overall this is a serviceable Beast mode. Let's see. How do I remember he does this? Uh, I think he first he get first thing he did was he got the head down, I believe, and then then you're supposed to get then his f chest flips down. Push the whole face piece down onto the chest. Hold on. Before that happens, I think. First, lift this up a bit. Get the legs around. And also, center get this down. Try to get centered. Feet out. You want to do is flip the monkey paws so that these uh, so that it has fewer fingers sticking out the back. And you'll notice a mask here. Uh, like I said, this is a reproduction of the original, not the more accurate 10th anniversary one. So, yeah. And for this, I think you'll to do is get this mask piece down, lift these antennas up. Hit 
and around. Get this down. And let me get the mask down so it's not so visible. And here he is in his robot mode. I know some hangnaps missing here and here. Like I said, it's not as accurate as the later Optimus Primal toys we've gotten. Still looks very close to what we ultimately saw in the show. I actually prefer the faceplate here, even though we don't get much paint for the, the crest. He still had the shoulder pads, arms, legs for the most part still looks similar. This, however, is a bit inaccurate, but still nicely sculpted. So... Overall, still a cool robot mode that still looks somewhat like Optimus Primal in the TV show. As for the articulation, I think I showed it earlier. It's on a hinge right here. And for the and for the arms, uh, these are a bit tough to work with. Uh, you do get some. Um, careful with these because I've actually had an older one and the ratchet broke but they do go in and out 90 degrees bends the elbow there's some space that you that's usually typical of Optimus Primal toys for some reason and there's a switch here right now if you push the lever on the back it makes the arms twist around, but if you push it down, it will actually make the arms go out. Uh, you, can s uh, you can still adjust this, but it's manually, however, it's gonna start, in the it's gonna push against the ratchets, and it might break so do be careful with that I'm not gonna fiddle with these uh, too much for that reason and uh, of course the hip joints move uh, a nice ball joint here so you get some up down some up and really good range of movement here and the knees bend of course Show the foot can go up because move the foot down for the robot mode. So, thing may be 25 years old, but the articulation was very good for its time, even though we've got much better, more accurate looking Optimus Primal figures right now with Kingdom and. Masterpiece, and even the new uh, ones for the Rise of the Beasts movie, all his toys are awesome too. Now, that's, and just like that ultimate Optimus Primal figure, this does have a bunch of gimmicks. First of all, uh, I already showed the lever, so... Next, you can get the missiles to pop over his shoulders, which is pretty dang cool. Um, you're supposed to launch these, some of these missiles in here. It's got a mace he can hold and store in this arm. Then you also get some missile storage. Uh, there's some, it's kind of hard to see right now, but you can put them in these holes back here and then... I think you can also, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure if it was just the masterpiece, but you can also put the swords in the sides here. Then, and 
But in the show, these were just uh, thrusters so you could fly. And uh, you remember how the uh, ultimate... I wonder if these are clicked in correctly. Um, this is kind of old figure, so some of the tolerances may not be ideal. So, also open this arm. It's got the blasters, just like the op ultimate Optimus Primal for Rise of the Beasts, but come, but his whole arm turns into the black gun thing. It doesn't just pop out of the top of his forearm. Uh, still a very cool gimmick. I know we had like Transformers arms turning, entire arms turning into cannons in the movies. So it's still a pretty cool gimmick. Uh, be careful with these. Remember, these could break. And right, in addition, you do I'm gonna pull off and try some of the two of these accessories of uh, swords. Well, actually, I think one is enough. He can actually the swords we have got in the TV show ultimately look close to this. They're not all blue, they're sort of colored. Uh, and you'll see this a little more accurately in the Masterpiece toy, but the, they are based on these, on the shape of these swords. He does have two of them, which is cool. Yeah, so all in all, this was a great figure for its time. It's pretty close to the way it does, or somewhat like the way it does in the show. It's very articulation's pretty great for its time. I mean, if it's held by back by this gimmick, or it holds it back a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm transforming it back into the beast mode right now. I recommend with these antennas you put them down here. Uh, two reasons: one, it helps keep the antennas from being bent in the beast mode. And also it just makes the mask thing look cooler with these uh, fangs down here. And for a long time, this, I think this set the bar for how, for Transformers, well, this and the 10th anniversary toy. Um, unfortunately, this Ape face does have a habit of coming apart, so I'm just going to separate this and then put it back on. Uh, let's see if everything is where it should be. Yeah, I think it should be good right now. I don't think I'll have a problem with the antennas getting bent. Get the head back on and just turn this around. Uh, you do get these white parts showing, but as I could said, you could hide these pretty easily once you get it, it into a bending downward pose. And here he is back in his beast mode. Oh, and yeah, flip his feet around so he has five fingers on the front. So all in all, pretty cool figure or uh, great reissue for people who haven't had the Optimus Primal yet are still interested in knowing what this figure looked what his figure looked like back in the day I really like the beast mode it's hard plastic because he wasn't actually hairy in the show which I like uh, beast robot mode looks cool still looks somewhat like he did in the tv show and articulation was still great for its time really set the bar for modern Transformers articulation after G1 and G2. So, oh, so, all in all, very awesome for a reissue of an old figure from 25 years ago. Please like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.